Welcome back to episode two, take two of Morel Hunting Scouting for Success. Yesterday I forgot to turn on the mic. Luckily I only found a few other trees, sycamores, until I got to where I'm at right now. Uh, I came back here, I'll explain it to you here in a minute, I just want to let you know that we are in Ohio and not all the trees here pertain to your area. They will pertain to much of the Midwest, uh, maybe south of Ohio down to Tennessee, North Carolina, um, maybe up in the Northeast. Uh, but let's uh, get to where I'm going to show you what I found here. And I got excited. I did a whole walkthrough and no sound. So we're back. So what I spotted in this area yesterday was this tree right here. Nicely cracked down. But what I didn't realize until I started looking left is that there are quite a few elms and we're going to do a quick walkthrough. So as we start walking through this area you'll notice that's a live elm but we'll start to see a lot of elms and this gets you very excited if you're an avid mushroom hunter to see this this many elms uh, we'll go check. We'll keep walking. There's Flint right there. Nice dead elm. Up and under. Live elm. A lot of live elms. Some of these might be dead, just not cracked yet. I don't see. Some of them do have leaves growing, starting on them. But, elms all around. Not as excited as I was yesterday. I was hoping to catch that excitement. I don't want to walk through here too much. So it's supposed to be the last time until we get some rain. You can hear it's pretty crunchy here. Elms, elms. So I thought this was not their land at first. That's the original reason I came back. And then I got out my GPS and realized, oh, look at that one, that one's broken off right there. I realized that uh, this uh, in fact was their land and the more I walk through this grove, the more on their land I get. Elm, live elm. Dead. Long dead. This one's alive here. So I decided while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and keep walking back because I stopped about right in this area. You can see there's more up that way. There. So far, most, a lot alive. There's some dead. We'll shut it off here, get through all these briars, and see what's on the other side. Another dead one right here. I just came across. All right. I'm not going to mark any of these trees. It's a whole grove. And um, there's some marked trees around here. Not sure why, but that'll let me know. We'll know this as the grove. And yet another one. And another dead elm. Just lots of elms around. Well, let's check that one out. Right there is the briar as I walk around to get to where I'm at. Uh, you'll see there's some sycamore here. There's more elms than I thought there might be. 
There's some that look like they had some bark peeling off, but I see leaves growing. Uh, there are some dead ones, some alive. Uh, and I'm going to walk this way back because I feel like there's definitely going to be more good trees up through here as we walk up this hill. Um, down there's the creek. Now uh, that creek ran down where I originally found that elm grove. I came around, walked up the hill on the same side as the elm grove and we'll continue to shoot and see what kind of trees we can find around here. This is a poplar, pretty thick poplar. You'll notice they go straight up. They grow straight up and they have this bark pattern here. You can kind of see diamonds in the bark. You may find some blacks around those, but I like seeing there's more, another poplar there, that there's poplar here as well. You may find some tulip morels which don't grow very big, uh, usually just a few inches. And there's another sycamore. Just so you know, I only walked about 10 or 15 more feet. <laughs> so and I can see more elms down through there. I might have to walk down that way for a minute. Here we have some mayapples. People do think that these, uh, that morels like to grow around these. Not true. Uh, mayapples are just a good sign of when they're starting to pop up, when morels are starting to pop up. Uh, still a little early here, and I'm not seeing a lot of mayapples. So these are very early ones. Probably getting a lot of sun on this hillside. It's definitely, if you can see here, a little greener over here. So I don't expect to find anything today, by the way. I'm just still scouting. Well, today is just not my day. Uh, twice already I forgot my walking stick. By the way, good idea to have one of those. Had to go back and get it. Lost my lens cap. Went back, found it, just lost it again. Can't find it. Anyway, uh, back down here. I went up the hill a little bit, came back down closer to the creek. Uh, finding more elms again. Uh, up top, I was seeing some poplar, uh, some beach, but nothing elm wise. So I, I just came back down and we're going to continue walking this path back until I get to where I parked. Just down there, we got, our, got a, uh, another sycamore. Uh, by the way, if you lose your lens cap, you get bug spray on your lens. That's what I just did. Hazards of filming in the wild, I guess. So I came across this guy right here. Another sycamore. You can see the bark's peeling like that. And then right to the right of it, we got ourselves a dead elm. Quite possibly even deader right there. But uh, that's okay. And, oh, and there's another sycamore. So, and another sycamore back there. So this is looking like a great area. I'm not marking any of these trees anymore because we just hit an area, you know, starting at that first elm grove where uh, there's just trees all around. Ain't enough time in the day for that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna call this the hillside, I guess. The hillside up from the elm grove. And we'll keep walking it. This was only 30 feet from the last sycamore, so as you can see, they're pretty much everywhere. All right, got ourselves a nicely cracked one. This is fresh, pretty freshly cracked. Uh, nice elm there. Several elms around. Uh, we'll take a peek at all of them. Uh, a lot of them are alive. We'll take a peek at the dead ones here. So, uh, yeah, more dead elms and a nice sycamore and maybe up the hill here so this one here has one shaggy branch and I don't see any uh, leaves growing yet so it might be dead it might just not have leaves yet so we'll definitely 
It's on the way, so I might as well walk by it and see it when they're up. And then right behind it there, there's a couple elms that also may be dead. Uh, it looks like we've come full circle to back where the first video was. Uh, also, I want to apologize if you can hear the dozer in the background. I am currently right behind where the landowners plan to build. And my, uh, I have a Rode audio mic that's uh, stereo. It picks up everything. I did it for the, the ambiance of the forest, but we're getting the ambiance of a bulldozer. So actually that uh, tree we just saw, that was from the no sound video that I recorded yesterday. So I walked that creek, but I did not walk this high on the hill. So I'm going to keep walking back and we'll keep looking. There is a nice one. Broken on one side, shaggy right there on the right. Man, I feel like there's a lot of elms back through there, but man, <laughs> that does not look like fun walking. I might just walk around all these briars and see if I can see anything on the inside. There's also right over here another sycamore. So I came down to the creek side to get around these briars. You'll see, there's tree number two from the first video. Uh, I am glad I decided to forego walking through that crap. I'm gonna try to get around it here and see what's, see if I can see anything up there. I don't really see much. Can, maybe a couple sycamore. It's a lot of low brush though. So I, I got a little bit past the briars, I saw an opening, and I walked up this way, and it looks like we came back to the, sycam the sycamore uh, stand that I found. A lot of sycamore here. I'm going to call it, call it for this episode. Uh, next one, I'll choose a different area on the property, and we'll see what it's got. All right, well, am I parched? I got water, but right up through there, which apparently I gotta crawl through, is my car. Whew. Stay tuned for episode three. Whew. That was fun. I'm an expert briar diver. All right, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'm hoping with the next, uh, maybe the next episode, that we might actually come across somewhere else. Depending on when I get to film it, how much rain we get, stay tuned.